uh, Florida beverage law. <laughs> what happened? Ghosts? Ghosts in Chris's house? No, I my chair backed into my shelf and knocked this fucking thing off. You don't need that. All right, everybody, welcome back to the 24th episode of the Poor Choice Show. I'm your host, Chris. I'm with my co-host, David. And we're wishing a happy birthday to Rose Byrne, Jennifer Lopez, Amelia Earhart, Barry Bonds, and Carl Malone. And introducing special guest, Andy, the beard himself. Now let's make some poor choices. The beard himself. I just kind of came up with that. I kind of liked it. <laughs> I was going to go with the bearded wonder. Hey, oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay, I forgot my glass up, BRB. Jesus Christ. We've only done it 24 times, David. The fuck the is hell? Happening? You're kind of blurry there, so I can't really tell what's happening. You can't really tell who it is. <laughs> okay. So Kobe? <laughs> it is Kobe. <laughs> it's gotta be. Before or after the crash. Alright, I'll make the the, the Huey noise. <laughs> it looks like before. <laughs> a little, little creased here. <laughs> or is it a, put the... a really tan, you know? Tate God, Ryan. that is so unsettling looking. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> How's that? I hate, right, how you're old, get. I hate how you're just constant smile. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> You'd be smiling too if you were the best number 24. What the fuck and why? <laughs> why do you own that? <laughs> He's got looking it. around we like, wait, this episode. <laughs> <laughs> wait, where is he looking? I don't even know. Huh? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where I am. I mean, I see like one eye open, the other one's going kind of, you know, trailing off. The fuck is going on? I think that's right, well, we're going to get. Uh, uh, you can call it good. It's fucking creepy. <laughs> oh, man. I wish I could move my mouth. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, maybe if I do this. I don't know how to react right now. Yeah, how are you going to drink your beer, dude? It's just it's just for this this opening here. Because we got to talk about the best players to ever wear the number twenty four. Well, I think you're uh, oddly and very very <laughs> unsettlingly uh, naming probably the best to wear it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> You're just smiling, and it's fucking weird and creepy. It's hard to see through this thing. I feel like one eye is like way. It's hard to look at you. At least I'm blurry on your end, right? Oh, uh, God. That's what makes it worse. Yeah. It's Fuck really. It's, it's really, almost like one really... of those, those fake money bricks that are meant to look blurry, like the Roblox money bricks. Yeah. 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 No. I like it. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <No>. um, <laughs> All right. Well, we got Kobe number one. Who else you got? I have I have a plethora. I could think of probably two, and that's about it. That's it? Yeah. yeah. I just huh. talked the one I know. <laughs> and who was that? Kobe? Yeah. Okay. Uh my boy Ken Griffey, for sure. Okay. Um, and probably Charles Woodson is all I got. Okay. I don't even know. Now, uh, let me let me tell you what you're. I'm kind of upset that you're missing out on, on a lot of these. I'm kind of upset that you're wearing that. Well, <laughs> the way it fits, I'm a little upset too. But so we got the the best players to ever wear the number twenty four. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Kobe. Yeah. You said Ken Griffey. And Charles you said Woodson. Charles Woodson. 
Yeah. We have a guy by the name of Willie Mays. Oh, yeah. Okay. We have Moses Malone. We have Ricky Henderson, Miguel Cabrera, Lou Brock, Barry Bonds, Rick Barry, Ty Law, Darrell Revis, Champ Bailey, Stefan Gilmore, and Willie Wood. You know, if I thought about it more, I probably would have got a couple of those. We've been doing this for weeks. How'd you not think about it? You know, I didn't figure we were going to do it every one of the numbers. <laughs> we uh, don't. But, but those, those are solid names. I like it. Now, here's my, here's my outro. Mm. I don't see any flames or uh, dead bodies anywhere. That's a that's a different kind of outro. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, please take it off. Good lord. <laughs> oh, the hat on backwards. Getting serious. This wasn't a Prime Day deal, Chris, but this was Amazon for this. Oh, okay. That's a cool shirt. I like that. <laughs> So for anyone listening, it says, are you drunk? And there's a checkbox for yes and no. And then the X is below all of them. <laughs> below in, all of them. They didn't even hit hit either box. Yeah, that's a good shirt. I like that. It's implied. It's implied. It was like eight bucks. I say, yeah, I can do that. All right. Well, back by popular demand and by popular demand, I mean, the one guy on TikTok that asked us to do this. <laughs> We're back for some, uh, we have how these teams got their name, AFC South. Okay. Uh, they're not very entertaining, but we'll get there. Okay. Got so it. So the Texans, um, for the Texans, months of extensive research and focus you group did, You didn't want me to guess first? Oh, uh, yeah. Go. For, I mean, that's, what are you going to guess? Because they're from they're Texas? From Texas. Yeah, right. Well, there you go. Hey. So there's that, it's like that plus extra credit. Well, that's what we did last time is you had me guess and then you told me the real. Well, I was going to ignore the Texans because. Yeah, obvious. that's <laughs> yeah. obvious. Yeah. So for the Texans, months of extensive research and focus group sessions were held that led to the list of five. The Apollos, the Bobcats, the Stallions, the Texans and the Wild Catters. The I don't know if that was typo on their end. The Texans was chose as a new name and logo as it embodied the pride, strength, independence, and achievement that make the people of Houston and our area special. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Way cool. to be very mediocre, Houston. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next, the Colts. What you got? Uh, let's see. Well, they're originally from Baltimore, right? Correct. That, fr that franchise? Yeah. Um, Baltimore, Horses. Pimlico's there, so there's horse racing in Baltimore. Okay. That's all I got. That's all I got. They, yeah. they race yeah. horses. I don't know if it's based on Pimlico, but it says the team was named for Baltimore's history of horse breeding and racing. Oh, nice. Okay. So, uh, so that makes makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Born there. I didn't know there was a history of horse racing and breeding there. No. Not I didn't the know about thing. The only thing that I, I would have guessed is, uh, what's it, Assateague? Mm-hmm. Which is that even Maryland or part of it's in Maryland? Part of it's uh, part of it. Yeah. Okay. All right. The next one we have is the Jags. Any guesses? Um, maybe back in the day, Jaguars were actually in that area before. I thought it there became... actually still are some wild cats, oh. you know, in Jacksonville okay. in that area, like because it's you know it's a very yeah it's a very humid and tempered climate that like you know those big cats love so bears bears oh my the jacksonville jaguars were named so because the jacksonville zoo owned the oldest living jaguar in north america and the nickname was chosen through a naming contest the other options were the stingrays and the sharks so hmm. just because that's like if uh if the bengals would have been like we're gonna be the Harambees now. <laughs> so, yeah. Lame. I mean, it, well, and it has that little bit of alliteration, the J and the J, Jacksonville Jaguars. I mean. Yeah. 
I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sold. This, this we dude watching this TikTok is going to be very industry. upset because it's, I don't know what, what team he's a fan of in this division, but unless it's the Titans, because the Titans is pretty good. Some so more information. Okay. do you want to guess the Titans? So I'm going to say, uh, they came from Houston where they were the Oilers. Right. But they were and also the Oilers. I think the first year they were in Tennessee. Well, my, my thought process is your... oil industry, you could be a titan of industry as an oil person. Like you're like, that's, you'd be that's a titan of any industry though, right? Well, the oil industry is such a big industry that you're like the titan of titans. So like you're the biggest, like the world runs on it, right? Okay. Andy, any guesses? I feel like there's like a rock formation named the Titans. They just named it after that shit. Is Tennessee known for rock formations? Tennessee has mountains and stuff, so I figured maybe. Okay. Yeah. No, also incorrect. So, <laughs> so Bud Adams, the owner of the Titans, requested that the name would reflect heroic qualities such as power, strength, and leadership. Titans' name was chosen as it met these qualities, and it also reflected one of the city's nicknames, the Athens of the South, which I never know. Oh, so Name Athens, so, Greek. Right, so and, uh, uh, there's there's more to it, which is it gets pretty cool. So, and also reflects one of the city's nicknames, the Athens of the South, named so for Nashville's colleges and universities, classical architecture, and full scale replica of the Parthenon. Adams also decided that the team's name should be the Tennessee Titans rather than the Nashville Titans because he wanted to represent the entire state of Tennessee which is shown in the team's logo featuring three red stars, one for the biggest cities of Memphis, Nashville, and Knoxville. So I thought that was pretty mm. cool because I never knew that those three stars represented those cities. No, me neither. So I'm trying to think of another city in Tennessee. Chattanooga? Uh, Paris? Ellenberg. Juliet? Okay, hey, we got it. <laughs> I only know Paris because that's where... Uh, that's where Shankle's from. We'll go with that. Uh. <laughs> her pants so tight. If she if she farted, she blow her boots off. <laughs> so there you go, kid. Unless you're a, a Titans fan, Sorry. he's gonna be a, he's gonna be a Texan fan, guaranteed. Yeah. How'd they get their name? Oh. Yeah. Well, where are they from? Where are they from? Speaking of where are they from, that was another Shankle line. Sh Shankle's Tinder pickup line was always, girl, where are you from and how do I get one? Oh, that's good. I like that. Yeah. Still hung up. I'm still hung up on Tennessee Titans. All the Titans were in prison. Uh, in, like the real Titans? Like, like in mythology wise, if they're going off that, all the Titans were in prison, weren't they? Or am I basing Sounds my knowledge of that off of the movie Hercules? Yeah, or like which uh, was probably <laughs> basing or their like that, right? <laughs> I feel like Hercules was probably basing their portrayal off of facts. No, I mean, who knows if it's fact or not? <laughs> I don't know. You guys are the fucking historians. Not me. I go back to nineteen eighty nine, and that's I wouldn't it. say historian. <laughs> I know history the way I think it. Yeah, I've always said I know a lot about a little. Or I know a little bit about a lot of shit. I'm scrolling through my content here and well i i wanted to get into um well get into it but i had a, i was just scrolling past my like number 24 and it reminded me of a thought i had yesterday and i meant to bring yeah. it up to andy when we went to Publix. um so you've been to maryland <clears throat> recently clearly yeah uh, uh, probably went a week to ago. A, a store that had beer um i did okay do they still have 30 packs there or did they yeah, like we bought we bought three of them Okay, so at at what point in the the lateral latitudinal whatever do they stop doing thirty packs and go to twenty four? Because in in all my time in Florida, I've never seen a thirty pack, and that's and it's it's bizarre because in Florida, as opposed to Maryland, Maryland you you have to go to a liquor store to get beer. You can't go to a grocery store. You can't go to a gas right. station. You have to go to a specific liquor store that has liquor and beer, where in Florida, gas stations are game, grocery stores are game, and then even grocery stores have that built-in second liquor, Cooler, yeah. Walmart so, liquors, oh, Publix yeah, that, liquors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so everything is together, but then they don't want to sell you Larger more quantities. Yeah. 
I don't understand where, why, how. I don't. Okay. I think we need to like take a road trip and like and just, each state, like stop it. Like either, I guess we'll look and see which well, states you can get it in like grocery stores. I, I and know just figure out which you, state it stops Georgia at. and South Carolina, you can purchase booze at a gas station as far as beer goes. Okay. So um, those will stop at a gas station and just, I just want to see like where the 30 packs stop and turn into 24 packs. And why? Yeah. I know North Carolina, I don't remember 30 packs there. It just no doesn't 30. make sense. I'm but trying then, to think when I was in North Carolina. like when for, It doesn't make sense banks. for anybody from the business end on, on the beer spectrum. Yeah. Like, and from like the consumer law? point, it just doesn't. If mm. you're going to go out to buy beer, you're going to buy, if you needed 40 beers, you know, you're going to buy it however you need to. Why not just make it accessible? Right. Everywhere. I, I, I don't get it. I don't so, get Andy, it. How much is a 24 pack of Miller Lite 12 ounce cans? Man, I can't tell you the last time I bought 12 ounce cans. Um, if you had the Publix, I think it was like twenty one ninety nine. And then yeah, the, ultras uh, are right around that. They're like 23 ish. Okay. Think, uh, Any idea how the, much the Bud Lights are? Probably the same price as Ultra. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you remember how much the 30s were, Chris? Oh, no, because we bought bottles, 30s. I okay. mean, we loaded up for the week. I'm trying to so. think, like, I know, I know inflation's <laughs> happened since I used to buy 30 packs, but a 30 pack of Bud Light was twenty two forty nine. I guarantee it's not that. Well, yeah, it's probably thirty three forty nine now. That much more? I feel like it's going to be less than a dollar a beer still. I'm saying it's like 28. I'm just trying to think, like, I feel like the cost per beer is probably less in the 30s. So maybe that's like a marketing thing. Like there's no way they're making 30s and 24s and selling them both like cost per ounce the same. Yeah. I mean, I should I remember going and buying kegs that kegs of a uh, half barrel of Miller Lite was like $81. Yeah. Well, the kegs are always wine, cheaper. But last time I went to Total Wine and look, those kegs of Miller Lite still half barrel was like $120 something dollars. Really? Well, I got an answer for you for Florida. You ready? Okay. So Florida beverage law oh. includes restrictions on beer, package sizes. Prepackaged beer must be in an individual containers, can no more than 32 ounces or more than one gallon, which is 128 ounces. Wait, start, start all, say all that again. The Florida beverage law includes restrictions on beer package sizes to contain no more than 128 ounces per package. So no more than a gallon. Per package. No more than no more than a gallon per package. So what's twelve times twenty four? Uh, two hundred and two. F- that's already wrong. Hmm. Because that's ten times twenty four is two forty. Yeah, it read it. That's probably per container. So like, yeah, like you can't buy more than like seven hundred and fifty milliliters or of like Captain because of whatever that equates to. So is it primarily due to price point, as in 24 beers likely hits its desirable retail and sales, where a 30-pack may put it to a place that would hurt sales? You'll often see a distributor switch from 30s to 24s as price has increased to get out of a plenty 20-plus dollar retail. I don't believe that there are any laws limiting the sale of 30-packs. It was always over 20. That doesn't make any sense. It's got to be some sort of legality. Something. Yeah. I said we pressed. Well, I was just going to talk about we have a bearded friend with us, right? The beard, as I called him in the intro. Um, so I wanted to give you seven beard facts and or trivia um, to see if it's something you've known or maybe it's a reason why Andy grew a beard or why people have beards. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so, I would guess so, he grew a beard to spite everyone that can't like me. <laughs> Granted, so he had the, one when I met him, why. but it's one like, hey, look how good my beard is. Even if you <laughs> well, could I, do it, it wouldn't be this good. I could. It wouldn't be that good, but work, I have to keep it short. I really wish I could grow it out, but, you know, mm. is what it is. Um, so I well, got hold on. S- so before you oh. go, mm-hmm. let's talk about this. If you say that you're growing it out for religious purposes, <laughs> they can't say anything Ooh. about it. Then you get to wear one of those nice beard nets. Yeah. Mm. How about that? Peace be to Muhammad. Mm. 
But you're also Catholic, so you can have every Sunday off. So I you mean, like, I was, let's let's say it like this: I was raised Catholic. Yeah, you're just by religious. You're, uh, what is it? Religious. What is it? Lapsed Catholic now? Is it what they call it? Was it lapsed? Yeah, lapsed Catholic. <laughs> if you like, don't practice. Like a recycled Catholic. Uh-huh. Well, how long does that have to be? Because technically, we practice every year celebrating Christmas and Easter. True. Even well. Oh. Well, I think celebrated would include going to church services for those. If if you were religious. I would say celebrating is more along the lines of making sure you watch a Christmas story at least once. And have presents and eat turkey. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and ham. Okay. Yeah. And ham. Okay. And ham. Deviled eggs. Okay. Deviled eggs, deviled potatoes. Oh, yeah. And that sweet tater casserole. And some uh, weenies wrapped in bacon. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hell yes. That's the only, thing Chris, that's the only thing Chris brings. <laughs> Look, I brought some dicks. I think I, I think, bacon. Uh, <laughs> I think I think you might still have sugar. one of my casserole dishes, David. I'll have to figure it out when I'm over there next. Okay. TBD. I'll does, need you to describe it. Now. So I can hold it. Oh, this is and, it. <laughs> yeah. Included Possess- this, this hundred dollar bill is it too. Yes. <laughs> Possession possessions nine tenths of the law. It's been here for over a year. It's not yours right. anymore. Right. You didn't like, need it. I it's like, ours now. I like my casserole dishes like I like my dogs. Um quiet. A a legal battle in order to obtain custody of them. <laughs> Hopefully not so, so expensive. So, so if you want to back, you got to take me to court. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> Chris has no proof that he bought Your, your lawyer's like, uh, my retainer would buy you like 46 casserole dishes. Nah, I'll, I'll, I'll just have Jamie do it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, all right, talk to me about beards. Well, I got seven surprising things you didn't know about beards. Wow. Oh, ooh. First one is a beard could increase your social status. That's, yeah, I believe uh, it. Okay. Uh, traditionally, beards have been associated with manliness, and there's research to back that up, all that good stuff. I feel Number like the two. research to back that up is only associated with the fact that, like, lumberjacks have beards. Yeah, right. <laughs> and lumberjacks are considered manly. So this said a study from the journal Behavioral Ecology asked people from two different cultures to assess bearded and clean-shaven faces with the results showing that bearded men were judged by both men and women to have a higher social status. That kind of coincides with number one, right? That is number one. That was like the explanation to number one. Oh, the whole thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Number two is that the world's longest beard was over five meters long, which is... 17 feet, six inches. I don't can you that. imagine? <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> Look like fucking hmm. Merlin walking in. Like, right. Got it all tied golly. up. <laughs> they need to remake like that Rapunzel scene of just like a dude up there. Just like <laughs> your beard. <laughs> <laughs> Climb up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that would hurt, dude. <sighs> yeah. Imagine that little hairs in the bottom of your neck getting pulled on. Uh-uh. Ooh, that's <sighs> like a bottle of shampoo per shower. At 17 feet, are, are you even shampooing it? Are you, you're probably not doing much. You're not going to work. I know. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you got it just wrapped up all around, just like your shirt. It's like, yeah. But you'd save so much money on like scarves because you could just like. I mean, I'm David, good. when's the last time you wore a scarf? Yeah, I'm about to say like. <laughs> um. How many scarves probably, do you own? <laughs> probably 2017 Halloween when I dressed up as Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I knew yeah. it. Yeah. I have, Fair. I've never worn I can a scarf. I go to it right now. Put it on. I'll put my glasses on. I don't think I've ever worn a scarf either in my whole life. Okay. Hmm. Can't okay. think of a time that I ever would need one. I bought one, but it was at a soccer match. Like, you know, people hold up the scarves, like, with, like, you know. Yeah. Either the, co- the colors or, like, the match you're at. Well, nope. thanks, Andy. David. Only, only, no. only thing I can see one is, <laughs> the only logical time I can see one is for Harry Potter. That's about it. All right, all right. Number three. I got seven. Let's calm down. Number three. <laughs> uh, beards and baldness could be correlated. Have you ever wondered why some men are able to grow thick beards, but they're lacking hair up top? According to one study, which looked at the number of sweat glands on bearded men's heads, 
male baldness may be a thermogallery. Thermogallatory. Compensation. Thermoregulatory. Thermoregulatory. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have it in front of me. <laughs> Ever just, wondered why let... some men are able to grow thick beards, but they're lacking in hair up top? According to one study, which looked at the number of sweat glands on bearded men's heads, male baldness may be a thermoregulatory compensation for the growth of a beard in adults. And that's the first time I ever read that. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, I just, I just want to, I, I just want to, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I just want to point out that the, uh, the Marine pronounced a seven syllable word that you couldn't. <laughs> so I've been drinking, I haven't eaten today. Okay. <laughs> thermal. I, I saw thermal. Thermal. It shouldn't, it shouldn't even be thermal. I, it should be thermo, right? It is. It's it's T H E R M O R E. So I saw in my head I saw thermogulatory. <laughs> thermogulatory. <laughs> thermogulatory. Don't go there. Okay. Um number four, some people have a phobia of beards. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, what's it, Surprising what's it, fact. What's it called? Uh, it's derived from the Greek word hogan, meaning beard. Hoganophobia means a fear or dislike of beards and is thought to arise when someone has a negative or traumatic experience related to a person with facial hair. And I thought it was just because I look angry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Number well, five, I, did you know that the rock... Wait, you said... What did you say it was called? Jesus po- Christ, we're never through this list. You wouldn't rush to go po- somewhere? Po- pogophobia? Poganophobia. Pogan, okay. Poganophobia. You I thought you, you were don't like making the, a... You don't like the Poconos Mountains. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, not a G. It is pog- Poganophobia. I was okay. stretching with that joke. Are... That wasn't funny because oh, okay. no one laughed at it. So I thought you were making fun okay. of Andy because uh, apparently you're not. We'll get, we'll get to that later. I'll bring it up. Let's get through these seven. <laughs> Yeah, come on, Chris, hurry up. <laughs> Number five, did you know that the rock wore a beard made of testicle hair? Eh? Like, eh? The rock, the rock? We got, like you gotta get, Dwayne, you, you the rock like, Johnson? Uh-huh. You're, you're expecting uh-huh. feedback. Did you know? When we're did just you know? curious as to, like, when was this? No, did, did you know? No. And so, what, for, for his for his role in the movie Hercules, a little throwback there to what we were talking about, uh, the rock wore a fake beard made from yak hair. More specifically, a yak's testicle hair comprised of half-inch strips. The coarse, dark brown beard had to be meticulously applied piece by piece, meaning that along with his wig, fitting, and makeup, Johnson spent three and a half hours each day being transformed into Hercules with testicle hair. And three and a half hours getting goat ball hair. Losing your face. <laughs> nope, not. I mean, they pay me that movie star money. I'd shave my beard and give it to him. Yeah, yeah. 20 bucks. Nope. Number six. I thought, I thought yak me. hair. I thought yak okay, hair was. Here we uh, go. <laughs> I thought yak hair was was what came up when cats like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. I didn't want to miss that. <laughs> uh, so I was saying six didn't surprise me that Disney used to ban beards from the parks. Uh, it says, while Disney famously sported a mustache and six of the seven doors had long beards, male staff at Disney theme parks were forbidden for 60 years until 2012. So just staff couldn't wear them. Correct. Yeah, you can show up to Disney World and be like, oh, you got a beard, sir? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. You cannot answer nah, that. Nah, uh, nah, I'm Poor not. Man. You gotta leave. Hey, who am I? So they um, couldn't even like, like they had to be like clean shaven or could they have like just... Like what you have? Uh, now, cast members, as public face employees are called, are allowed beards as long as they are short and neat. Um, it doesn't mention it. Okay, so before they probably couldn't have anything at all. They, they probably need to be, be clean shaven. shaven. Yeah. Uh, the last interesting fact is that beards grow fastest in summer. Andy, does that track? Before I read, I'll be honest. I I, I don't trim this beard ever, so I don't know. So my my guess, I'm yeah. gonna go. I'm gonna go to. Um, photosynthesis. And I'm going to say that the more sunlight that plants get, the quicker they grow. So it's probably the same concept for beards. 
It's a good educated guess, but it is not what I got here. Um, mm. It is that studies have suggested that testosterone levels are elevated in summer, meaning your hair grows faster. So why are they elevated in the summer? Because you're outside doing man shit, like fishing and shit. David, I'm just giving you the facts that I got here. <laughs> okay. I'm not mad at it. I'm just curious. Very curious. Very curious. Hmm. So back to the uh, the Pog the Pog thing? Pogano thing? Poganophobia. 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 Uh, so Andy, I don't know if it's Pogue or Pog, but apparently uh that's a derogatory derogat it's Pogue. That's a derogatory term for I mean let me re- it says for the term pogue is a derogatory military term that refers to non infantry troops, including Marines in the U.S. military. And when I was looking it up, I was like looking at like jokes about Marines and it was like, uh, just call them a pogue and call it a day. So what does that mean? So pogue is person other than grunt. So, you know, grunts are infantry and. Yeah, I okay. was a pug. Yeah, I was not infantry. I decided I did not want to be yelled at, you know, 24 hours a day for four years. So I chose a better Well, that's just, that's just the military. I left construction because I said, if I'm going to get yelled at for 24 hours a day, I'm going to get paid for it. Yeah. I mean, paid better. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, actually, yeah. no, not really. <laughs> Paycheck was better. Dollars per hour was not better. Was way less. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. No. So person other than grunt. I never thought of it as derogatory because I knew what I was, you know. It's like, and that's, okay, yep. And grunt is infantry? Yeah. Okay, so you joined probably the most badass branch. Yep. But did it smart not to be an idiot about it, and then you're a pogue? Yes. So it sounds well, like I wouldn't pogue say should I chose be a like... Smart career, a smart field either. I was a fucking truck driver in the Marine Corps. So it's, I just didn't want to be, not, I didn't want to be yeah. walking around all the damn time. I feel like poke should be a, uh, what's the term opposite derogatory? Complimentary? Compl- uh, yeah, complimentary. Compliment, <laughs> complimentary. <laughs> Look, we're struggling with words today. <laughs> it's like, you're a poke. Thanks. Yeah. Like, yeah. Thank Thanks. you. I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. I didn't, that was one of the, I was telling you earlier, I had some Marine jokes and I was like, I don't know what that is so i don't know if i should say that one but the whole poganos thing brought it up i figured i could ask no poganophobia not poganos yeah yeah, that's a that's a fear of people that aren't grunts yeah yeah there you go yeah (laughs) uh the only fun fact i have about beards that's probably an educated guess is i would say 95 percent of people that have committed terrorist acts have beards. For the most part, I I don't know. Did the Boston Bombers have beards? Yeah. I think so. Did the Trump assassin have a beard? That boy couldn't grow a beard if he tried. No. <laughs> no, he couldn't. <laughs> I, saw, I saw something the earlier today, I think it was, that said, I guess they seized his computer and his last, like, internet search was porn. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say how to grow a beard. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> they were like, bro, you know what you're about to do and you ain't even going to clear your history? No, I got to clear one out. I, I got to bust one out before I get out there, man. <laughs> no, I saw an article. Yeah, last he cleared night one out. <laughs> I saw an article last night that was saying that he might not be the shooter now. There are zip lines from water towers and... Department of Agriculture trucks driving around. Dude, a zip line so, from a water tower? That sounds like a great time. So right after that. right after news broke of that, I got a text from Chris Rhodes. Here it is. Yeah. Probably him who shared it. Probably <clears throat> when I saw it. No, no, I, I got I, I, piss, I pissed Jaron off real bad. So Saturday, July 13th, I got a text that said, Is Chris a liberal or just a conspiracy fuck? Ha ha. I said, <laughs> Why do you ask? He said, He's saying in the football group. Shit that makes me think his attempt was fake. Uh huh. I want <laughs> to so know how to. Re- I want to know how to respond. I said honestly, my said? first thought was the same thing. Uh, no confirmation of being shot. Said he's perfectly fine, but had blood on him. And I said, no, I don't believe Chris is liberal. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know what I said in the chat? <sighs> no, that was all I got. Oh, okay. So it was. Um, he sent it in the group chat, and I was like, damn. 
holy shit. And then I pulled up the clip and watched it. I was like, damn. So no one else behind him got hit after all those pops went off. And then it just exploded into conspiracy theorist, Chris. Fuck you, Chris. So that's all you said. That's all I said. And then Jaron's like, I'm worried about Trump. He's bleeding this and that. I was like, Jaron, my first reaction after I watched the video was, oh, damn, no one else got hit. That's that's crazy. That's all I said. That's Hmm. all I said. (laughs) <laughs> Turns out someone did though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was just it. I, well, that was that's what I told Rhodes. I was like, my yeah. My first thought was there's no no confirmation of him being shot. Just that like he was shot at and that he went like this and then there's blood. But no one was ever like, yeah, he was hit. Yeah. And they're like, so. Chris, did you even watch the video? I'm like, yeah. And I heard a bunch of shots. And all I thought after I saw him go down was like, I didn't see anyone else behind him get hit because it was right. the, the the first clip that they released was that front and center one. And then yeah. an hour later, I start getting all this stuff from them like, well, he was over here, so it doesn't line up. And I was like, dudes, I didn't have the ballistics. All I was saying yeah. is I'm surprised <laughs> nobody got hit behind it. It's like, funny that, the, yeah. It was, it was, yeah. it was, a, I'll send the screenshot to you. It was pretty hilarious. Yeah. That's Whatever funny. that photographer's name is, though, for that picture, he'd win a prize if it wasn't a picture of Trump. The picture it. of him, like, like prone, like this? Uh, no, the, the, the picture from the guy under the stage, like, at the stage, looking up, the picture of Trump when he rises up. Oh, if it wasn't the one a that they're, Trump, like, that carrying guy, him, and he's like, yeah. yeah. That, whoever the photographer is should win a, would win a prize. As long as- yeah, that, that dude at the Daily Bugle would have given that dude 20 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I wouldn't argue for it either, it'd have been twenty dollars, no problem. No, I'll give you fifty. Yeah. Like, dude, this is Spider Man in action. What the fuck are you talking about? But it's not Spider Man, so. Uh, that's funny. That dude. So, the yeah, so that vehicle. was that was that's what it's called, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like just, probably the most impressive call out I've ever had from yeah, I was gonna a say, Hollywood how do you know point of view. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so that, I thought that was funny. I was like Superman. I was like, Chris is out here trying to fucking sit around a campfire and get drunk. And well, and that's I got what it was. I, I was sitting around dude. drinking. I was literally yeah. sitting around drinking. And, and, I, and I saw a tech like, damn, he got shot. So I pulled up the video and I was like, oh, damn, he did. And no one else got hit. So I sent that. <laughs> and then. Whoop. And all of a sudden you're a conspiracy theorist. Oh, man, I was it was it was funny. And then I was playing along with it for a bit just to rile him up. It was good. Yeah. All the gear started turning. Well, do you, do you guys do you guys like animals? I think we both have enough animals to say for you to know. Yes, we like animals. Hmm. Do you like movies? Who doesn't like movies? Yeah, you don't count. You like movies okay. as long as they're older. You know, or no, so, not older. I don't like older. Yeah, not older movies, but you know, Bad Boys was on yesterday, and you were watching it. That's my shit. So I want to see what top five movies with animals as the leads comes to mind for you guys. Animals as the lead. Number one for me was Air Bud. Mm-hmm. So does Tarzan count? Because he thinks he's a girl at first. I'm going to say no. Damn it. Then the- well, nowadays, that's a yes, because if he identifies as a gorilla, yep. then we'll get canceled. Nope. If Still going to say no. Okay, I'll say no, too. Um, I'm, after having, that, I'm having a hard time thinking of any movie with an animal as a lead. Other than, like, you know, Babe or Charlotte's Web. Yeah, there's go, animated ones too. Number two, I'm going to go with Bugs Life. Hmm, okay. Lion King. Lion King would have to be number one. Lion King's a good one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Despite Rhodes, I'm going to not include Lion King. <laughs> That's his favorite movie. As long as it's the original, not the uh, not the second one or the remake. Oh, I never, mm-hmm. I never saw the. I'm eating this. I never saw the remake. Animal as the lead. Um, There's one with one, two, three animals as the leads. Real life movie. Ooh, How about Madag- like Ch- Madagascar? Madagascar, that's a good one. How about that's Chance and Sass- Sassy? Homeward Bound. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. I'll take that oh, one. Oh, man. I guess would I'm not going to rank them. I'm just going to name five. Would that you say Jaws? Like enough. Jaws is a lead or no? Yeah, I mean, the fucking movie's named after him, right? Yeah, uh-huh. But no, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I really liked Over the Hedge. 
Oh, okay. Where they got to go steal the food from the... Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, Let's see. Think of uh, fish. Think of, you Ooh, know... Find an emo. That's not Find an emo. Think of a... a so what a am I for? A chef. Right, two weeks. I, I thought of that <laughs> one. I wasn't going to do it. So I have... Air Bud. Mm-hmm. Over the Hedge. Mm-hmm. Homeward Bound. Mm-hmm. And what else did I say? I think that's it. No, I said another animated one, I thought. What? Andy said Lion King for animated. No, he said like, he do that one just because of... Over, over the Hedge type of animated. No, you didn't say anything else? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, I said A you Bug's have... Life. Yeah. Oh, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of over the hedge and put in Finding Nemo. Mm, good choice. I'll do Lion King 1. Uh-huh. Um, Madagascar, probably 2, because that movie's, it's funny. Well, it's uh-huh. escape, escape from Madagascar, Escape to Madagascar, is that what it's called? I haven't seen it in a while. Something like that, yeah. You know, the, the giraffe and the lion, all the other animals that try to escape, the, <laughs> escape from the zoo, right? They're trying to get out of the zoo. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And the zebra. Uh-huh. And uh, what's the one movie where it's just all three penguins? Uh, three or I four penguins? Called, I think it's just called Penguins. That uh, movie. Because it's like not happy feet. Penguin, well, happy Penguins in Madagascar or something like that. Yeah. Four is a good choice with Bugs Life. Okay. As you watch it, as you can told her, the, the comedy in it is, uh, you can get a little more of it from when now listening to it than what I did as a kid. Mm hmm. And five. Finding Nemo. Okay. I don't know if this is actually my fifth, but for transitional purposes, uh, you ever seen a B movie? No. I've never actually good. seen it. That's pretty good. Also, another one, I don't know <laughs> if I would substitute it, is uh, what's that one with the little like penguin surfer kid? Surfs up? Uh-huh. That's good. I like that one. That's honorable never mention. Se- never seen that. Okay. I'll go with the B movie. I'm surprised Ratatouille didn't make it in there. I don't think I've ever seen it. I just went on that ride at Disney. <laughs> <laughs> what that about was the some, most like, ratatouille uh, I've ever seen? Some Free Willy, Beethoven. Okay, uh, Ninja Turtles, King Kong. I was more of a uh, Ninja Turtles cartoon than the actual movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Scooby Doo. Nah, the movie was. I was like at that threshold of like I don't like this shit anymore. Uh, Fox and the Hound. Stuart okay. Little. That's a great one, too. Stuart Little's a good one. Uh, Cats vs. Dogs. Babe. You got a Mouse Hunt on there? Oh, I love Mouse Hunt. That's a good one. I don't know if I've seen that it. Is... What? what? Seriously, I don't know if I've seen it. Your kids would love that movie, Andy. How old is it? Look it up. Uh, probably mid to early 2000s. <laughs> yeah, I'd say 2001. And they inherit this giant mansion, and they have to get the mouse out of it before they auction it off. Oh, I just thought of one too. Lyle, 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 Crocodile. The kids watched that one. So it was pretty good. Never heard Mouse of it. Mouse Hunt's 1997. 97. It is yep. so good. Is that all you all got? All Dogs Go to Heaven, Jungle uh, Book, Chicken Run, Congo, Zootopia, Turner and Hooch, Chipmunks. Uh, how, is, how is Jungle Book in there, but Tarzan's not? He said Tarzan. Oh, no, he didn't say Tarzan. He said Tarzan's he said King no. Kong. Yeah. Yeah, it is no. Then Jungle Book has to be a no. No, because Jungle Book has like Blue and Shere Khan or and the crows and yeah, but that's still not a lead though. You're right. I mean, yeah, also, have Planet was... <laughs> Planet of the Apes. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's all I got. That's my uh, animal movie thingy. Your animal planet. Hi everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons, or if you're an audio listener. Go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. Well, I have I have two transitions on that, but uh, the first one is I got stung by a fucking bee last week. Damn. Or a wasp, where? Uh, on my calf. I was mowing the lawn, and I did that. You know that like the push pull. Like there's only so much grass here. So you push like, there's no point in going, turn it around. Mm-hmm. So you're just yeah. like, eh, 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 eh. and I was like backing up and there was a bunch of fucking bees and wasps. So, uh, yeah, got stung and immediately was like, damn ran inside. And I'm like, 
babe, can you come down here? And she's like, I got the baby. I'm like, well, I think I got stung. She's like, right down. Not that there was anything (laughs) she could do, but I was like trying to see if she could get the stinger out and looking at like Google images because apparently the bee stings are like a little circle of red. But this, I I sent a picture to Andy and it was like this (laughs) fucking big on my leg. I'll post the picture on here. Dude, it was like, and then I went back to like keep mowing the lawn and it was like every two minutes was just like a repetitive sting stab like i haven't been stung in in probably 20 years so i was like didn't know to i like i know i'm not allergic but i was like i don't know what the fuck's going on here so uh that to the wasp spray, man. yeah so we got to do that uh i was gonna take them out with the ar but my hoa says you can't <laughs> use ars as pesticides so i had to get yeah. some, shit. some hoas are better than others i suppose yeah <sighs> yeah well, fuck, fuck bees. Um, yeah, that's that. Uh, I guess we could get into more. I have more to that, but I don't really. It's, it's like PTSD at this point. Do you want to talk about our beers? Uh, yeah. Well, why don't we start with uh, Andy, Mister? Uh, we'll call right. it a beer. Yeah, we'll call it. We'll call it what it is: a beer that's not a beer. A beer that's not a beer. It's water that tastes like beer. Yeah. So I got a. Uh, Sierra Nevada Trail Pass. Golden. I think it's supposed to be some sort of golden ale. I mean, it's nothing really worthy of note about it. It's just, it's not terrible. I would probably, but it's not that, that Blue Moon one? No, the Blue Moon is, like, as an NA beer, it's delicious. Yeah, yeah it's just, like, you could, you could just, just tastes, drink one because. <laughs> yes. But this stuff is, like, it's eh. beer, it's Beer adjacent. I mean, yeah. Out, out of any beers, I'd probably give it like a, I don't know, a 6.3. Uh, okay. So it's, eh, it's, yeah. you can take it or leave it. Yeah. Yeah. What, what would you rate that, uh, that Blue Moon NA? That's a solid eight. Nice. Eight, okay. 8.5. It's like, of the ones I've tried, that's the, the best tasting one I've found. I can't find any sours in NA because I don't think they yeah. make them. Yeah. If they Probably did, not buy all of them, but yeah, <laughs> that's the worst part about not drinking here. And y'all talk about the sours, and I'm like, you motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of sours, um, oh, <laughs> I have myself a from Hidden Springs Ale Works once again. I think they might another be my, one. Yeah, man. Have we not running out of beers? No, this one is. They were out of the one I wanted, which was Jedi Mind Tricks. They didn't have it. Um, this one is called Humble Pie. Let's see if I show you the can there. It's a big old man who looks humble with some pie. Um, it is boysenberry, almond, cinnamon, and vanilla sour with lactose. And it is good. Um, Milk sour. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is tasty. Let me give it a, another sip. I know I've been drinking it, but just a. It's close to my, it's close. Um, I'm going to give it a nine, nine out of 10. Yeah. It is good. Good, good, good. And, and they always have cool cans. I, I love just the, the artwork and like, very cool and delicious. That is cool. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run out of uh or you're I guess gonna run out of beers to get from them. Uh well Jedi Mind Tricks is by them too, so that's my next one whenever they get it back in. You're gonna have to start going to IPAs. Hell no. I don't like drinking mulch. <laughs> you did like last week. <laughs> it was ter- <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> I thought that was I'm gonna drink them because I have them. No, they're still in my fridge. Mm-hmm. Well, this week, I have uh, by Cigar City an apple pie cider. Mmm. So not really a beer. Well, it's it's a beer, no? Cider? It's a cider. So not? Well, I mean, what are we doing here? He's Drink a keep, beer? He's just keeping, <laughs> Cam's not, keeping it local. <laughs> Cam's not great, but... I mean, it sounds delicious, although... I would have pictured that as like a November, December kind of beer. 
I think I know what I'm going to give it, but let and me or cider. Sure. Yeah, that's that's a Thanksgiving beer. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give it a nine two. Ooh, so it's like blended both... up apple pie. It's pretty amber for an apple pie beer. I expect it to be a little. I was going to say it looks like a Michelob Ultra. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, I know I texted uh, well, you about it, David, but I think throughout the year, we're going to have to recap on the year and anything that made it nine or over, we're going to have to have like a final winner for 2024. Yeah. Like a five, we'll know. have to go back through. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So let me read you the, uh, the little description on here. It says the best parts of apples are apple pie and cider, but why just one or the other? Have your apple pie and drink it too. All the flavors you love. Cinnamon, vanilla, a hint of baked crust, and of course, apples. Mm. And that like hits the nail on the head. And we both have a pie beverage because I have the humble pie and you have the apple pie. Yeah. That's delicious. I like it. The dude on this can kind of looks like Sean Matter in a little bit. Uh, It sounds like a shitty beer. (laughs) Whenever you can actually see it in focus. It looks okay. like a grown up, uh, what's the kid's Bobby from King of the Hill? Uh, it, it does. does. <laughs> it does. Oh, no, I didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to ask you guys some movie trivia. 10 questions. Winner take all. Nice. Cool. Shit. <laughs> They're going to vary, vary in difficulty. Okay. Um, and I say that because of how ridiculously easy the first one is. Okay. The first one is, in the Matrix, does Neo take the blue pill or the red pill? Okay. Question two. For what movie did Tom Hanks score his first Academy Award nomination? Okay. Question three. The head of what kind of animal is front and center in an infamous scene from The Godfather? Okay. Question four. What Hollywood movie star plays himself in Zombieland? Oh. <laughs> okay. Why am I forgetting his name? Damn it. <laughs> the, night I got, the night I got back from camping, I watched Zombieland. That was like three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, well, that's to... not fair. Andy, your clue is Caddyshack. Oh, I think. Come on. No clues. Come on now. Okay. Yeah. Thought so. No clues. It could be the other guy. No clues. If you win by one, we'll put an asterisk. I, I remember the scene it, now. So. All right. In question five In Risky Business, what song did Tom Cruise famously lip sync in his underwear? I uh, know the scene. I can see him sliding in in his yeah. socks. I, I don't know. This is definitely not right. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Question six. What Post Malone and Sway Lee song plays during the opening scene of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse? Fucking no. (laughs) I knew Andy was all over that one. (laughs) I had no clue. (laughs) We should do a segment. Chris Chris names five Post Malone songs. I might be right. I'm not (laughs) exactly sure. I've heard the song in a while. I actually haven't seen Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse. I don't know who that other person in that song is, so. <laughs> Sway Lee. Yeah, I, no I, idea. I heard the name, but I can't tell you what they do for a living, whether it's a male or female yeah, or I got anything else. You ready for the next one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Question seven. Who played juror number eight in 12 Angry Men? <sighs> it's a big name, too. Um... Well, how many of them were big names? Uh, most of them. Oh. Uh, hmm. Okay. Yeah, also wrong. Okay. Question eight. Brendan Fraser shared the honor of outstanding cast in a motion picture at the SAG Awards for what 2005 drama? 2005? I might need some yes. hints there. <laughs> I can't think I of a Brendan Fraser drama. Uh, Devil Wears Prada was he in that? That's not a drama. That's a comedy. Uh, I don't know. I've never seen it. No, I did see that once. 
He was still relevant. Uh, that's also wrong, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I just I just I'll, wrote a movie that <laughs> I started so well, and I'm falling off hard. <laughs> Question nine is which 1927 war drama was the first movie to ever win Best Picture? 1927. <laughs> is that what you said? Yeah, it was filmed I've in 27. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's a war. Think of old war dramas that are award winners. That's not much. What, what can you think of? Yeah. I yeah, don't know. Don't know. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Question, question 10. Three of Jim Carrey's blockbusters, The Mask, Dumb and Dumber, and Ace Ventura Pet Detective were all released in what year? Okay. All right. So four answers. Question one was, in the Matrix, does Neo take the blue pill or the red pill? Chris, would you put? I put red pill. Andy, would you put? Red pill. Red pill is correct. Nice. One for each of you. Question two, for what movie did Tom Hanks score his first Academy Award nomination? Andy, would you put? Man, I put Forrest Gump because I was not sure. I also put Forrest Gump. Yeah. Incorrect. The answer was big. Hmm. Damn it. Interesting. Okay. Question three. The head of what kind of animal is front and center in an infamous scene from The Godfather? Chris, would you put? As a horse. Andy, would you put? I put a I don't know. It is a horse. It's a horse's head in the bed when he wakes up and it's chopped off in his bed. Okay. Dude, it's, I haven't seen that movie in over 15 years. It's all bloody and shit. It's been a I don't think I've ever seen it. Question four. What Hollywood movie star plays himself in Zombieland? Andy, would you put? Bill Murray. Chris? Oh, Bill Murray. All right. The answer is Bill Murray. And dude shoots him in the so chest with a shotgun. Three. <laughs> in the three, two. Movie correct. Uh-huh. Or was it in the, right. in the living room? No, it's in his, his home movie theater, yeah. With a candlestick. All right. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so three, two, Chris. Uh-huh. Question f- Was that five? Question five. Uh huh. In Risky Business, what song did Tom Cruise famously lip sync in his underwear? Chris, would you put? I put Twist and Shout. <laughs> but that's okay. from Ferris Andy, Bueller. Would you put? <laughs> uh, old Time Rock and Roll. The answer is uh, Old Time Rock and Roll by Bob Seger. Yeah. Good call. Three, three. Okay. Question six. What Post Malone and Sway Lee song plays during the opening scene of Spider Man into the Spider Verse? Chris. I put White Dan. Iverson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Andy? Sunflower. The answer is Sunflower. Never Four, heard of it. Four, <laughs> three, Andy. Question seven. Who played juror number eight in 12 Angry Men? Um, Whoever wants to go first. I wrote down, me can't know. I put okay. Marlon Brando. <laughs> okay. Both both incorrect. The answer yeah. is Henry Fonda. Uh, yeah. I got an O so at the end of like, mine. You had the I vowels had, and the consonants, right? I had the undo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I think this is eight. Question eight. Brendan Fraser shared the honor of outstanding cast in a motion picture at the SAG Awards for what 2005 drama? Yeah, Whoever mine's, wants to go. Mine's not a drama. I put Bedazzled. Okay. Yeah, I wrote The Whale just because that's the last movie I know of him. Okay. The answer is Crash. Never heard of it. Crash. <laughs> All right. So it's what? Still 3-3? Three, three? I got 4. 4-3? Four, four, he three? has 4, yeah. Okay. Question 9. Which 1927 war drama was the first movie to ever win Best Picture? Whoever wants to go. Well, I, I first of all, I wrote All Quiet on the rest, Western Front, and then he said one word, so I changed it to War. <laughs> yeah, I wrote, I wrote Anne Frank, just because I have no fucking clue. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't put the diary in. The answer was Wings. Oh, I was close. Damn. I had a W. Well, because, you, because you put a W in one word? <laughs> 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 all right, and question 10. Three of Jim Carrey's blockbusters, The Mask, Dumb and Dumber, and Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, were all released in what year? Ooh. I said 96. 
Oh, I did put 96 too. Okay. The answer was 94. Uh, Damn it. Shit. So it's apparently Andy wins by one. Shit. It's funny because I said, well, if Andy wins by one, we'll put an asterisk. <laughs> yeah, that Bill Murray one was a little iffy. All right. Yeah. I'll give you one, one final one. All right. How about the first person to get it wins? All right. Okay. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Overtime. The Battle of Thermopyle served as the basis of what highly stylized 2006 smash hit Swords and Sandals action flick? Different question. Uh, hold on. <laughs> oh, you got it? You said the bottle, Battle of Thermopylae? Yep. My, that's not what I said, but that's, yes, yeah, that's what yeah. I meant. And what year? Uh, highly stylized 2006 smash hit Swords and Sandals action flick. For moviegoers, you guys should get this easily. It's 300. It is 300. Mm. Yeah. Thermopylae. That's how you say that? Yeah. Okay. What's the, <laughs> what, what's the word that I said earlier? Uh, ther, ther, thermo- thermo-legated. Oh, yeah. Ther, ther, uh, what was it? <laughs> I said thermopile, so <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Welcome to the club. <laughs> uh, so I, I wanted to start this segment by um, prefacing that Brittany had mentioned to Andy yesterday that she really liked the the smell of a candle that we had out on the counter. <laughs> and, and Andy said, what flavor is it? Mm-hmm. I said, Andy, candles aren't flavors, they're scents. <laughs> Says you. I said, you guys just try to eat all the wax you can, right? That's right. So my, my first question I had for you, Andy, was that I know uh, we always ask you what color crayon tastes the best. But I, I wanted to know if you preferred rose art or Crayola. Oh, Crayola. We don't we don't eat that 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 poor shit. Mm, okay. The chalky. Chris, you remember having a conversation about that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> if mom had a good paycheck before school, we got the Crayola. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just didn't know if they tasted as bad as they colored. Dude, the school is the school is now. They literally say no rose art. Really? Yeah. I'd be like, fucking kids up. They'll say like the brand that they want. So, Chris, Marine is an acronym. Do you know what it stands for? Uh, my anal region is nasty everywhere. <laughs> what about the S? You said Marines. Uh, uh, I meant Marine. Um, Just Marine. All right. You could, you could throw an S. If you got an S, give it to me. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Shit, there you go. <laughs> Andy, do you want to correct him? No. Okay. The I correction like mine. is... That was uh, pretty good on the spot there. <laughs> so Marine stands for muscles are required, intelligence not essential, or expected, whichever one you yeah. want to read. Okay, okay. But to kind of go with yours, Chris, uh, why do Marines have their names on the inside of their pants? On the inside, yeah, like in the behind, like they're inside their waistline and their back. Hmm. So their boyfriend can about, call them by name. I don't know. You talking about the what name tape or yeah, the, like yep. the embroidered name tape? Your name on the inside of your waistband in the back. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I Do you know why? It's so the Navy knows who they're fucking. Mm. <laughs> I was close with so their boyfriend knows their name. Okay. Yeah. Well, the same thing. Uh, I have a a trivia question for you, Chris. Mm-hmm. Um, how many kills were the Marines responsible for on D Day? Uh, zero. Correct. Anything, army. Andy? I, I can't see your face, Andy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, the army landed there. But if we want to uh, talk about the uh, specific, then we'll talk some different numbers. We could do that. Uh, so, Andy, <laughs> this this was another one that was more of like a conversational piece. Uh, when do you celebrate the Marines' birthday? 10 November 1775. Okay. So the Marines claim that November 1775 to be the birth of the U.S. Marine Corps, even though the Continental Marine units formed in 1775 were disbanded in 1783 and not reformed as the United States Marine Corps until July of 1798. Yeah. 
So the Marine Corps' birthday should be July 1798. And we're going off the original founding in Tun Tavern. Well, you guys are celebrating the Continental Marines. Yeah, that's where it started. So, Chris, that's like if uh, before Coconut Joe's went back, if the pier was like, we founded in like whatever day Coconut Joe's was established. That's like them doing that. Like, just because you were there doesn't mean you were there. Mm -hmm. So last one I have is uh, it's just a shot. And it says to tell people in the Marines that the Coast Guard's older than the Marines. Dang. Pirates. pirates. (laughs) Puddle pirates. <laughs> so that's all I had. I like it from the air from the Air Force guy. Yeah, well, just because my ASVAB score was higher, probably was. It probably was. I couldn't tell you what I scored on that. I don't remember. But jokes on me. I I joined the career field that you need like a thirty five on your ASVAB to get into. <laughs> <laughs> so I I went into my recruiter's office. And she was like, you got like a 92. You pretty much do whatever you want, except like cryptologic linguist or whatever. You should definitely and be I was like, I, I was like, cool, so I, can be a, I said, so I can be a cop. She goes, you want to be a cop? <laughs> and she was like, let's do it. Let's push this fucking paperwork Easiest through. This is like easy. Yeah. Sell. She said, I just need your name. I don't even need your social, just a body, a name, and get. And that's it. I took all kind of waivers to get in. They made you take away. I feel like they were like, hey, no, you want to join the Marines? Was, <laughs> okay, come on. I got in trouble before. And then when I was uh, when I was 17, I got in trouble and it followed me around as an adult for a little bit. Mm. But it's gone. Fucking linger. Fucking linger. All right, I'm going to give you some celebrity names. Um, and you got to guess an exact age, not like they're in their 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever. Um, and then we're doing Price is Right rules. So you can't go over. Closest wins. You okay. just said the exact date. Exact age. What? Like, we have to guess the exact age and closest wins. Without going Not, over. We can't be like, oh, 50s. So, like, if they're 58 and I say 57 and you say 60, then I win. Right. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <I love>. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like 128 box of Crayola. We did, don't, he, we did he hey switch man. to A beers? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they got, they got 0. 0.5. 0.05. I'm on, I'm on I my third. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My first celebrity for you to guess their age is going to be Salma Hayek. I'll guess 57. Dude, that's the number I was going to say. Well, she's 57, so. <laughs> I was just at 57. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, all right. Let's oh, go how with, about that? Let's go with Gwen Stefani. 53. No doubt. No doubt was the... No, I was going to go 52. No doubt was the 90s. That was 30 years ago. 50, ooh, ah, 53 fucks me with the prices. I'm going to go 52. Final answer. She's 54. Ah, I should have went up one. (laughs) Son of a bitch. All right. uh, Next one's going to be Mr. Paul Rudd. That dude doesn't age. No, he doesn't. His name should be Paul Rudd. (laughs) Paul Rudd. Mm -hmm. 48. I was going to say 49. Paul Rudd is 55 years old. Good night. Right? Right? Hmm. Okay. All right. How about Neo himself, Keanu Reeves? 56. Mm, I was going 54, but I feel like it might be like a 57. Because when was the last time he was relevant? John Wick. John Wick. But there's like six of those, right? Four. Four. Is he in all of them? Yes. And when did the last one come out? Mm, last last year? year. Okay, I'll go 50. What'd you say, Andy? 56? 56. 54. He is 59. Jesus, fuck. Oof. It's going to be John about? Milk of Magnesia soon. If you don't know who it is, John Cho. Quit trying. John? John Cho. He is um the guy from Harold and Kumar. Not the guy he's, who's trying to be a doctor. His friend. I'm just... Not, I'll go 45. Not I don't know. So it's not 52. Harold. 52. Ooh, he's 51. Ah. 
David 51. gets it. Had to give you yeah, one. All right. I was, I was playing safe there. I think it's tied, no? Yes. I haven't been keeping count, though. How about? Okay. <laughs> I think we tied the first one, and you have two, and I have two. Halle Berry. Oh. 60. 63. Hmm. Well, if we're going Price is Right rules, I'll say 50. <laughs> She's 57. Okay. 57. Because <laughs> I was going to say 62, and I was like, maybe not that high. I'm trying to remember <laughs> like the, how she looked from uh, the last John Wick. Uh-huh. Oh, uh-huh. I don't... Good point. <laughs> yeah. I know she was in that. I was thinking back to Swordfish, and I'm like, how long ago was that? That Ooh. was 25 years ago. Yeah. So I was just trying to add 25 to that. Mr. Jared Leto. 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 However you want to say it. Leto. Um... I, go ahead, Andy. I thought he was older. Uh, 56. He's 52. Yeah. And he's got his hands in everything, man. Maybe and he's got his is. hands. Movies, music, cults. He's everywhere. Mm-hmm. He How one about, of them uh, Scientologists? He no. could be. <laughs> <laughs> How about Ellen DeGeneres? She's a damn crypt keeper. Oh, oh old Ellen. Yeah. Oh, Ellen. Fifty, uh, sixty-five. I don't think so. I'm gonna go fifty. Oh, she is sixty-six. <laughs> <laughs> you took it. All right, Damn. couple more. Um, Pharrell Williams, forty. I don't He's like another one. Doesn't age. He always looks like 42. He's 18, 40, 44. Final answer. Fifty. He's fifty-one. Hmm. I'm happy. Um, all right. How about Denzel Washington? All right. I oh, know that was Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're reeling. Really uh, sixty-four. Denzel's up there. Sixty-eight. Denzel's sixty-nine. Damn. Yeah. God damn it. Damn. I'm doing right. like way better than I would think I do. And then Andy just comes in and he's like, ah, let me steal it. All right. I'll do one more for you. Uh, Jim Parsons. I don't know. Um, who that is. Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. 50. Is he the guy from Gone Girl? No. Uh, no Big no, Bang no. Theory. He narrates uh, young Sheldon. Um, oh, Sheldon from he uh, Sheldon. Uh, Hidden the Nerdy Figures. Dude. Hidden yeah. figures, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah he was. Does, That's right. Does that show still have new episodes coming out? No. no. Neither of them. You said 50? I got to play the over-under game. 51. He is 51. Wow. Good job. Damn, really good. I don't, um, know, if I don't know if we're tied or not. Don't say really good. I just, anything over than 50, I was going for that. <laughs> All right, let me find one more good one. Rule. One more good one here. Let's see. How about Shakira? Shakira, Shakira. Oh. oh. Never really know that you could dance like this. Um, When did 54. she perform at the Super Bowl? Andy's going 54. Old what Super Bowl was she at? Spanish tax four, evasion. Four, and her hips still don't lie. Waka, waka. Man, this one's for Africa. Me, put me in that. <laughs> 54? I'll go... I'll go 50. I feel like he's spot on. I'm going 54. I'll just stick. I'll take the draw. She is I think that's it. 47. Damn. Mm-hmm. I thought they were making a big stink at the Super Bowl about how she was 50. When did this article come out? <laughs> All of these might be incorrect. Let me see. <laughs> no, it came out May. Some of high acts like eighty two May of this year. Okay, so maybe <laughs> yeah. I'm just thinking of J Lo. Yeah. Half of them are dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How old is this guy? Oh, that's funny. This week on my Ask Reddit, I have what's the worst movie you've ever seen? And before before you go, because I know you probably you probably got a laundry list. I'm gonna give you give you a handful. I so bet I have, mine is on there, guaranteed. Go ahead. I doubt it. These are all kind of basic. So I have uh, the Avengers. What? what? However, apparently there was an Avengers with Uma Thurman and Ralph Fiennes. 
I don't know if you ever heard of that or mm, seen it, no. but that's a thing. Uh, I have cats. Yeah, that's up there. I, I have Garbage Pail Kids. Mm-mm. Didn't know there was a movie for it. Okay. I have The Last Airbender. Oh, that's a good one. The M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong yeah. one. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Did suck. I have The Dark Tower. Oh, the uh, Idris Alba movie. Yeah. Uh-huh. And Matthew McConaughey. Uh-huh. I have, I don't think this is the one. Uh, I have After Earth. I didn't that watch this with, I didn't watch Will it. Smith yeah. Oh. I wasn't, I wasn't going to even waste my, no, no. Mm-mm. No. Okay. Um, this one I can relate to, but well, I'll get into it further after uh, the happening. Yeah, I get that a little bit. Because at the end they go, it's the wind. It's the wind. Oh, my yeah. God. Save us, Mark Wahlberg. Okay. Yeah. He did. He did. I have <laughs> I have the last Matrix. Uh yeah. Okay. Wasn't wasn't great, but it was I, I wouldn't call it the worst movie I've ever seen. Yeah. Okay. I expect a have, lot more out of it. Mm-hmm. I have the Son of the Mask. Oh, I would never even yeah, that's another one I wouldn't even attempt. Wouldn't even give a shot. Mm-hmm. It's a forgotten and the last the last one I have that I saw multiple times on here was Battlefield Earth. Oh, is that with John Travolta? I think so. I think that's the John Travolta movie. That's real bad. <laughs> that's real bad. It's terrible. So I'll, I'll get into mine because I know you guys is probably a lot better because my mine is limited. Yeah, uh, I had I had two. One was the only movie I've ever walked out of. The other was the only movie I've fallen asleep during. Did we walk theaters. out of the same movie? We did. Lady in the Water. It's also. It's also Shamalama Ding Dong. Yeah. yeah. So Lady uh-huh. in the Water. That was up there. Um, and the one I fell yeah, asleep we were on during the double the date and the dates were like, we didn't come here to watch the movie. We're like, no, we're not watching this. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't, I don't want to be any part of this. That was like a quadruple date. Yeah, I thought. it was a big one. Yeah. And I think me and you looked at each other and we were like, we were only there as like the wingmen for the dudes that were like actual on a double no, date. No, no, no. I was with um, like, the little one. Yeah. Little Ace. But I thought that was just like, Yeah. So whoever I was, I don't know. I don't know. Whoever, I, I think there was like four dudes, four chicks, and we were like, two of us were like wingmanning, and it was so bad that I was like, I I don't want to be We're going to Applebee's. This. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was the only one I walked out of, and the only one I fell asleep during was Hellboy. What? I love Hellboy. No, the last Hellboy was one of my picks. It was garbage. No, th- this was the first one. I like the first one. Oh. Yeah, I thought the first yeah. one was okay. The new one was pretty. The uh, one where he like goes into that house that's on legs. That movie, that one's terrible. I and don't the know. giants and yeah, that one's real bad. Yeah, I turned it off as soon as it like three minutes in. That's the one with um homeboy from Stranger Things as Hellboy. I can't remember his name. Yeah, the, um, um, the sheriff. The sheriff from Stranger Things yep. is Hellboy. What the fuck is his name? Yeah. It was just on my Facebook memories when I uh, spoiled it for everyone. But the first one was is like what? he's Ron still Perlman, alive. Right? It's like an. Yes. It's an F. Yeah, the first one's okay. Fa. It's an F. Fa. Fa. Ron Fuh. Perlman? Or- no, 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 no. Stranger Things guy. The fuck is his name? He did play a good Santa Claus, I'll tell you that. I don't know if you ever saw Silent, no, not, not, Silent not, Night. No, not his real name. But that was his, a great His movie. name in Stranger Things. Oh. Um, uh, like the character's name? Yeah. It's an F, right? Foss. Foss. Far. Foss. No, I just looked it up. <laughs> is it an S? It's Hopper. It's, it's Hopper. Jim Hopper. Yeah. Yeah, I was going last name. Dave, not... David Harbour is his real name. Okay. Yeah, so I, well, a couple weeks ago or a few days ago or whatever, one of my Facebook memories was like, uh, there's no way Hopper's dead or like Hopper's still alive or something like I ruined it for a lot of people. Mm. Mm-hmm. That was why. I was such an asshole like that. Like back in the day, I made, uh, when the I think when the notebook came out, in theaters, so never my seen status. It. I haven't seen it. I don't think I've seen it. But I like because it was like everyone was posting about it, mm, and I was mm-hmm. like, "Well, let me get let me get all the people that haven't." So I looked up like how it ends, and I made my Facebook status like, uh, "He doesn't die, but they don't end up together." Mm-hmm. And that's all. I didn't reference the Notebook or anything, but that's all I made it, and everybody <laughs> knew what I was talking about. They were all so upset. So, all right. Well, uh. Chris, what's your worst movie? I mean, the first one that seen? comes to mind is uh, Trolls 2. 
which I think I had you put up, Andy. Yeah. Or World Tour, was it? No, it's... Or no, no. Oh, that one, yes. (laughs) (laughs) So, Trolls 2, let me preface it, David, with there's no Trolls 1. Hold on. So before before you go into it, I feel like I named a lot of movies that you were like, I didn't even give that the time of day. Yeah. But you gave a movie called The Trolls 2 the time of day? Well, I will say it is also a great movie because of how bad it is. It is so bad that you can actually enjoy watching it. Just but it troll is two, not trolls. Troll two, but it is by far the worst movie. I've okay, ever seen. so it's not like the little trolls dolls thing. No, 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 um, it's one of the best shitty movies ever. Um, Cabin, okay. Cabin in the Woods is pretty terrible. Okay, I wouldn't put that up there with the worst. Um, Jack and Jill with Adam Sandler, and he plays his sister. Do you think that was worse than Spanglish? No, no, Spanglish is fine. Uh, uh, no, no, I think Spanglish is worse. I would also say That's My Boy with him and Andy Samberg is real bad. Okay. Um, I think the last airbender was a really good one. I wouldn't have thought of it, but I would put it on my list for sure. Yeah. Um, okay. By you, Andy, what are you, uh, I'm trying to think of what I was as, as the hoster of the, uh, the server. Allegedly. Alleged. Well, yeah, I don't, one we don't of the get enough viewers I've for you to worry about lately. that. That I can like the, the top worst I can think of in the past couple of years. Civil. War. It was absolute garbage. Um, which one? What's the war? Oh, oh Civil is war. that where uh, what's her face is like a uh, Kirsten, Kirsten Dunst, Dunst is a. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, so my boss told me I was my boss told me about that and uh, it was just, he said it like it wasn't good but it was entertaining. I was gonna say oh, it, it wasn't. I didn't see it, it as a bad sucked. movie. It was just a lot slower than I thought it was gonna be. Hmm. And then so don't watch it. Don't watch it. Uh, it's not worth it. Yeah. Maybe watch maybe it? while you're doing laundry or something. So Chris, you know that like so like your your five to ten scale or your four to eight scale mm-hmm. is like my five to ten scale. Mm-hmm. So where would you put that like like a six on yours? Yeah. Like it's pretty okay, bad. So it's it. not great, yeah. but it's you know. Andy, where would what would you out of ten? What would you rate the Grudge? Well, that's a good eight and a half. Re- you got to refresh me on that one, man. That's Sarah uh, Michelle Don't go Geller. in attics when you're in Japan. And then the kid comes up and he goes, uh, "Is that the one where they come out of the TV? No, that's the ring. That's, that's the, the ring. ring. It's kind of like the ring, except it's an attic and not a TV." I'll be honest with you, man. I'm a jumpy fucking person, so I don't watch a lot of horror movies. <laughs> Okay, what would you rate the ring? Um, seven. I think that's more. Okay, probably a seven. I'll I'll, I'll probably watch it. it I, bet, I I don't think you'll. I'll probably forget it. to watch it. Yeah, yeah. My my standards aren't high. I've been balls deep. Oh, okay, we'll get to that later. Andy, what else? What else you got? Civil War is probably it, I hated it. or just I, as of recent. And uh, the second. Uh, Pacific Rim. I love Pacific Rim. Is that a Rim. video game? <laughs> I, like I love the first Pacific one. Rim. Love the first one, but yeah, the, the first second one. one. Second one, I I turned it off. I don't even remember the second one to be honest. You don't need to. I thought that was a yeah. video game. No, you that's the one to. with that's the one with the kaiju's and like yeah, um, the old mech suits and, and the big mech suits they not- and they have to pair they the the to- pilots because they have their same, same brain compatibility or whatever it My is. My brain's got to connect. Uh huh. First one's good. Uh, that was Idris Elba as well. And Charlie Hunnam. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What about Pacific Rim is a 2013 video game published and developed by Yuki's for Xbox 360. Yeah, I like that. That one's good. It got a 9 out of 10 on Softonic. What about... I've never heard that was a movie. I only know that as a video game. There's two movies. Yeah. Um, what about uh, <laughs> Batman and Robin with, like, Mr. Freeze and Poison Ivy and... uh. 
This is a conversation for y'all. You know, I don't know I you never seen that with Sw- Arnold Schwarzenegger's Freeze and Uma Thurman's Poison Ivy and Alicia Silverstone's Batgirl and probably not when I was old enough to remember seeing it. Damn, how do you not remember that movie, David? That's man, it's hard to forget. I guess. <laughs> Allow me to break yeah. the ice. <laughs> <laughs> I need my diamonds to freeze everything. Oh my god! I don't Bane. know, dude. Even Bane's in it. Bane shows up. You can't know. Mm. Robin's in it. We've got you everybody. Kill Bane. You kill Bane by disconnecting his mask or his, his backpack mask thing. That's that all movie. you gotta do. Apparently, in that one. Not in the new one. Well, not in the Dark Knight. All right, Chris. Well, what's your ass credit? Before I get uh, you're busy fucking around. What's he fucking around with? My lights. So my ask credit this week is what are some uh, random facts that nobody needs? Do you guys have any any random facts that nobody needs? Nobody needs? Yeah, it's, they're just oh, totally sure pointless. Gotta, we're going to have to start giving each other these ask credits beforehand because yeah, I, I know like I that. have like a plethora. <laughs> well, let me, like... let me give you a few. Let me give you a few. Okay. Uh, so lobsters pee out of their faces from right under their eye. There you go. So they just cry. P. Cry P. P. Cry. Cry bees. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, when you get a kidney transplant, unless medically necessary, they leave the old ones in and in there and put the new one in the pelvic region. So he's got like a bad kidney just floating around in you? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Wasn't uh, that first, like rot? Uh, hey, listen, I'm just the messenger here. Uh, thought you were a doctor. A single spaghetti noodle is called a spaghetto. So spaghetti is plural? Again, messenger. <laughs> I'm just, uh, that, that's what it's saying, though? Uh, I would assume, yeah. Okay, spaghetto. Uh, the first person. So you, it'd, be, it'd be incorrect to say a spaghetti noodle. It'd be a spaghetto noodle. No, well. Or a spaghetto. A spaghetto. Can you? Can you pick up that spaghetto, like a noodle that fell on the floor? Hey, can you pick up the spaghetti? Or if we have our food race and we throw stuff on the wall, it yeah. could be one spaghetto one race. Spaghetto. Hmm. Uh, the first person okay. ever convicted of speeding was traveling at eight miles an hour. I've I've seen that one on Fibbage. Okay. It's probably, it was probably like a horse, like his horse was going too fast. It could be, yeah. Um, okay. At the time of the French Revolution, the majority of people in France did not speak French. Okay. Uh, rats will laugh out loud if you tickle them. I did not learn that from Ratatouille. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I was born with six fingers on each hand and got them removed as a baby. Everyone at my school, including my teachers, found out and started calling me Six Finger Death Punch. Hmm. The paper umbrella with your cocktail, like a pina colada, usually contains a piece of Chinese newspaper. Carefully unwrap the white paper tube on the inside of the umbrella and you'll find the piece of newspaper. So that's how COVID got over here. <laughs> if you like pina coladas <laughs> and getting COVID. And being stuck inside your house <laughs> right, for a year and a half. Right, 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 Chris right. must be drinking a bunch of pina coladas then. Only five of them. Hey, <laughs> pina coladas are good, dude. <laughs> Um, penis coladas. The Welsh slang term for microwave is popti ping, loosely means oven that goes ping. And the Japanese slang term for microwave is ching suru, which go which means goes ching. I feel like that's the Japanese slang for a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese slang. And babies, babies can breathe and swallow simultaneously. Until around five months of age. See if that has a uh, uh, when the fuck they go to sleep. Oh, it says never. Ah, oh, okay, good. Yep. So I should be uh, fucked until I'm uh, 56 or something. I don't know. Helicopter isn't heli plus copter. It's helica plus pter, which means spiral wing. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> they lied to you. Say no. That's the number. No. That's that's the number one answer on this ask Reddit, by the way. 
Pater, yeah, well, <laughs> no. Pater. Pater. Ain't no way. Pater. Pater. It's a helicopter. It's a helicopter. Ain't no way. Pater. Pater. <laughs> That's all I got. That's it. All right. So I got, I got one last thing. So Chris, we've, we've played this game with a group before. We're playing a game. We're playing it. Oh, yeah, kind of. Oh, I love But games. we're going to put a little twist on it. Okay. So uh, the game's called Agree or Disagree. Okay. And Andy, if you haven't played, the way it's typically played is uh, you normally go in a circle and everyone will give like a controversial statement and the answers go around and all you're allowed to say is agree or disagree. Because like some people are really opinionated about uh-huh. certain things. So like you're not allowed to go off on it or whatever. So it's agree or disagree and that's it. But I have nine things and you guys, we're going to play agree or disagree. Mm -hmm. The first one is all 10 year olds should have mobile phones. Disagree. Andy, as the parent, do you have any, uh, I agree with it. Rebute. Yeah. Nowadays. Yeah. Nowadays I agree. Okay. Okay. The second one is the voting age should be lowered to 16. Mm, I'm going to disagree with that. Okay. I would say eight. Nope. Never mind. It is. Oh, is it? Yeah. It, 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 <laughs> oh. It used to, <laughs> it used to be 21, this though, right? talking about. No, you think about cigarettes. No, no, no. Didn't you have to be 21 <laughs> back in the day to vote? Like 60s and 70s? Not that I know of. You're the historian, remember? Mm. History. I think, I think it was. All right. The next one is peaceful protest achieve nothing. Agree. Agree. Okay. The next one is leaders should be elected by popular vote. Uh, agree. Agree. Okay. I feel like you both had to think about whether we'd still win. And then you're like, okay, agree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I was yeah. going. <laughs> yeah. You're like, wait, Bob. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Okay. Uh, childhood vaccination should be required by law. Disagree. Yeah, disagree. The next one is the internet has done more harm than good. Agree. Ooh. Disagree. Ooh. The next one. Money doesn't buy you happiness. Agree. I agree. I disagree. Uh, the next one. Parents should be paid for staying home with their children. Mm. Disagree. That's tough. I I agree. Only because there's not a dollar amount tied to it. My only disagree is because then taxpayers will have to pay for it. All right? Who's going to pay them? There's a lot of parents. There's a lot of parents out there. Be like, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm just going to get a check. Oh, I'm just going to say it. Well, that's why I said it depends on the dollar. Like if you're paying, yeah. like, I mean, I can see it like as a as a tax incentive. That's what they're. That's what you're yeah. Saying. If it's like two hundred bucks a month, but and not collecting. Like you get tax in, breaks for making under a certain it. amount a year, anyway. Yeah. Andy, answer. Nah. All right, two more. A country should never go to war unless in self defense. I think at the end of the day, I gr- I agree with it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of so, yeah. like breaking down everything in my head, but like push comes to shove. Yes, I want to hear. Like an argument for no, and this no. And just for disagree. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Well, there's a lot of argument for no. And, Andy, there's a lot of politicians out there that would love to have that argument. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ask, ask Raytheon. Yeah. Uh huh. Are, are we all in agree on that yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. It's... All right, and the last the last one is my favorite. Addiction is not a disease. I don't know because I've never. Well, I have. I've. I, agree. I, I quit cigarettes, so I'd yeah. agree. Because I, I agree, I just, I just stopped. Is that not the one you were waiting for? Because that's my. Oh no! Like... I thought you were going to say Die Hard's Christmas movie. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no! 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 Not, not that one. Not Honorable that. mention at the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hard no. Hard disagree. <laughs> so, so Chris, the the thing that I wanted to when you were talking about pre show. Yeah, uh, that I wanted to bring up. So, did you buy anything on Prime Day? Um, I had to get a new Fire Stick and some boxers. <laughs> okay, I could have <laughs> given you like six Fire Sticks, probably. Oh yeah, that's all I got. Oh, and I <laughs> bought some uh, energy drinks. <laughs> but you would have done that regardless. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Although I did see something about how Prime Day, there's quite a few scams out there on Prime Day with like prices where for... Yeah. Have you seen I, that? I was almost victim of one. So yeah. it was like for the past year and a half, it's been at this $500. And then the day before Prime Day, they bump it up to a thousand. Ninety nine, nine ninety nine. Yeah. So then on Prime Day, they can say it's fifty percent off. It shows. Yeah. And I was like, Yeah, I can't remember what it was. Fucked. It was like, it was like something. And I, I googled it because I was like, Ain't no fucking way. It was like something was like twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, normally two ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah. And I was like, like, No chance. Who in their fucking right mind mm-hmm. would? And I looked it up, and it was like, Mm-mm. No, the the boxers so, and the fire stick. At least I know just. The price I've paid for them in the past compared to what I paid for, I was like, all right, yeah, I, yeah. I saved like 15, 20 bucks on each of them. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing that I was going to bring up was I was uh, like all leading up to it. I was looking into buying a new TV because I want to put the one in the living room in. David, you have 47 the TVs. Right. But we sit so much further <laughs> away in the living room now than the old house that I wanted a bigger one. Okay. And neither of them in the loft are big enough. So I wanted to put the living room one. Wait a minute. In wait, the a minute loft. wait a minute. Your living room one is what, 80 inches? 75. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we like almost okay. doubled the viewing distance. So I'm going to put that one in the loft. And I wanted to get a new one for the living room. And I was like debating, debate, because Prime Day was two days. I was debating, debating, debating. And then at like eight o'clock, 8 p.m. the second day, I was sitting on the toilet and I was like, sitting on the toilet. <laughs> sitting on the toilet. <laughs> So I went to magic eight <laughs> ball dot com. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I, I screen recorded it. I went to match. I'll attach it to the video. I went to magic eight ball dot com and I was like, should I buy the TV? And it was like, outlook is good. I was like, all right. So I fucking went on Amazon. <laughs> I fucking on ordered it. So I was like, because eh. I was going to do it anyway, but I was second guessing myself and I was like, eh. how big it said to 85. Yep. Yeah. There was, I almost got a 95, but it was like a TCL. And I was like, hmm. Not for like I, the main area TV. Man, I still have yeah. a. No, no, no. I still have a 55 inch RCA in my bedroom right now. And it is amazing. RCA stand for really crappy appliance. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you I what. Think, that was, how many that was all an E-bombs world thing. I've had it for probably 15 years. It's pretty great. Is that I mean, where you. I've primarily years. watch your movies? No, I watch on my Samsung in the living room. Yeah, so if it doesn't get that viewing, you don't got to worry about it. Mm, mm-hmm. I, I didn't buy shit from Amazon for Prime Day. Neither. Oh, did. that's not all I bought. I bought. I bought other stuff, but it's irrelevant. I just thought the eight ball shit was funny. Hey, I don't think any of the esports kids bought anything on Amazon Prime Day either because they have zero money, zero life, zero girlfriends, and one and a half inch wieners and they suck a lot that's because that's because the uh the blow-up dolls weren't on prime day deal and you can't buy girlfriends on amazon fuck them all hold on don't don't leave yet i got i want to show you one more thing It'd be funny if he had like this, a, this, if he had like esports kids all tied up. Like, who help me? Help me! This, this is uh, this is post credit here. Stand by. Call my mom, Chris. What's my name, Chris? David. The fuck is happening? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, Walter White. Walter White. What's my name? Heisenberg. Your, uh, Say my name. Pedophile. What the fuck is that? That's Heisenberg. <laughs> God, he looks creepy. Say my name. That is, I think that's that's worse than Kobe. I am not the. I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. <laughs> Skyler, I am the danger. What is that? Oh, I brought pizza. <laughs> <laughs> like Down syndrome. Walt. Getting you gonna go get Finn hammered after this? Have him puke in the pool. Taking that's shots Walt at Jr. tequila. Uh huh. What's my name? <laughs> a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> this is Put the nightmare the after back Christmas. On. That one was better. <laughs> they, you look. At, he, it looks like like when Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible's like mask is fucking up, <laughs> and oh, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mask printer's all jacked up. Uh huh. And the fact that what's he keeps saying name? "What's my name" makes it way worse. <laughs> 
Ooh, na, na. Right, What's my name? I need a Rihanna mask. No, just start coughing. Fuck them esports kids. Yeah. Well, I know I know something you know absolutely nothing about. Let's do it. Tell me. It is. Pause for effect. Drum roll. <laughs> it's it's a baby. Joey. It's the baby. Oh my god, you got a little bow in her hair. Oh my goodness. And then, of course, I can't, no, I need I need a I need a non dog voice for the baby. <laughs> no. uh, my my dog I, voice is my baby voice. Yeah. Uh, okay. So okay.